They're multiplying. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Yo-Yo and I'm here to help you make your slides amazing. This week, we're covering survey results. There really isn't much to say here. You know for a fact that at some point in your life, whether it was a dull report or a boring presentation, you've seen survey results where there was just no flair, no spice, no innovation. I don't even think there was even color, just results. This video will help you attain a creative setting for your results so that your audience has the ability to connect the colors visually to the data being presented. We're going to try something new this time and jump straight into the tutorial, rather than go into a detailed rant or intro on how certain things are important. You guys are professionals. You guys should know this stuff, and I know that you guys know this stuff. Let me know if you appreciate this more get to the topic approach in the comments. Let's jump right in. So what are we gonna do? The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to start from a blank slide, as you can see right over here, all right? Uh, a blank slide is supposed to, you know, excite us, it's supposed to make us awesome, so we're just going to go into that. Um, I'm going to go to insert icons, and I'm going to select the icon of my choice, which is this one. A word about this. We made a video about the new Office 365 update that implemented the icon tab, and it's actually a pretty awesome feature. If you do not have it, do not worry. I'll link a video in the description as well as on this video in order for you to go there. So anyway, pick any icon you'd like. I'm just gonna pick this one because it's pretty simple to use and click on insert. Let's wait for the icon to download. And now we have our icon. I'm just gonna reduce the size of it and make it like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Control D, which is duplicate. In our old video, remember, duplicate means I want PowerPoint to copy the command. I'll show you what I mean in a bit. So I'm gonna move this duplicated uh, icon just next to the uh, icon on the left here. And then I'm gonna press Control D, and there you go. It automatically just moves it. We're five in, six in, seven in, eight, nine, ten. We want to make ten, right? Ten. And the reason why we're making 10 is because we're going to make 100 of these guys, a 100 man army, okay? And actually it's quite easy for you to count percentages uh, with the 100 things, you know, because it's 100%, you should really be going through that, but yeah. So, um, once you have 10 in a row, uh, you're going to press, uh, you're going to highlight all of them and you're going to press on Control G, all right? And then you're going to press Control D again, and you're going to move this row here so that it's perfectly aligned as you can see right over there with the row above and then just like the old one you're gonna press ctrl d until you hit 10 and 10 by 10 makes 100 so we're two in three four five six seven eight nine ten perfect okay so now we have our main basis of this infographic which is basically a hundred people all lined up each representing one percent so we're gonna highlight everything and we're gonna press on Control G and we're going to reduce the size by just holding down Shift and reducing down the, file of the image size, which maintains the aspect ratio as we go down. And we're just gonna place that over here for now. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna insert the question just above this infographic. So we're gonna to go to Insert, we're gonna to go to Shapes, and we're gonna click on this little rectangle here. Um, don't worry about the spacing too much, we'll fix that in a bit. So I'm gonna put in, the question was if you had, one million dollars what would you spend it on all right and i'm just gonna format it format it any way you'd like i'm just picking my favorite font which is panton black caps um i'm gonna pick it the black caps itself without the italics and i'm just gonna pick a beige color with um some gray uh you know gray color for the font and i'm just gonna remove the outline I'm gonna resize it so it's perfectly aligned with the infographic at the bottom over there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to draw one at the bottom here, as you can see. And this is going to be our sample size. And usually that's demonstrated by the, um, by the function or the letter or the whatever you'd like to call it, N. So it's N equals 374. And what that means is there are 374 people that actually took this survey. And you're reporting that in a much easier fashion uh, to your audience than in any other way that I've seen, at least on, the, on, some, on some slides. So anyway, um, once you have what you'd like, just highlight it all. I understand mine is a bit too big. Uh, I'm going to be pressing on uh, shift and then I'm just going to reduce the file size for this until we get something that looks like that. All right, perfect. 
Uh, let's move this one up a bit. Let's move this down a bit. And let's, that's just fine. This is all good to go. Once you're happy with the sizing, um, highlight everything. So you have three elements highlighted right now. Click on arrange, click on the line, and click on distribute vertically. All right, perfect now. Um, let's just fix the formatting on this so that it is, you know, because details do matter. It is perfect right now. And we're going to move this to the side right now. We're going to edit that in a bit. As a final note, what I want to tell you guys is that you just want to make sure that the bottom one here is actually in italics. And the reason why is because uh, it sort of shifts the focus away from it a bit or draws to attention to it more. It just allows your audience to separate the data a bit better. Do you know what I mean? So if I put this as italics here, it just shows that, okay, that's a data. That's a... Uh, that, that's a reference to the data rather than the reference to the survey itself, which, which I think would be uh, pretty beneficial to the cause. Okay, so now that we have the left side covered, which is more to do with the infographic, the right side of the slide is reserved more towards the text of, uh, of the slide. This text can be our analysis or it can be a summary of the results. In my case here, I have a summary of the results, right? So the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on insert shapes and the rounded rectangle icon. I'm gonna make it just big enough so I know it fits in all my characters. So this should be uh, fine, I think. I think it's actually a bit too big, really. Just make that a bit smaller. Yeah, that's fine now. Um, I'm gonna put in 4% and change the um, font to keep it consistent. And then I'm gonna click on Insert and then the text box feature here. Make a big text box like this. Of respondents have selected and I have all my results on the left side over here as you can see uh, two cows period I'm gonna change this to uh, it's on black caps as well okay cool so now you just want to make sure that the positioning is how you want it so for me right now this seems fine um, I'm just going to make sure that it's all aligned by oops I almost screwed that up I'm gonna fix right now yeah, that's fine uh, I'm gonna highlight them both. I'm gonna go to arrange, uh, align, and then align middle to make sure it's all perfectly aligned and it stands that, to be that way. Once you're happy with it, hold them both and press Control G and just make four copies by pressing Control Shift and then just drag them down like so. Um, don't worry about the positioning; you can fix that by highlighting them all and click on arrange and align and then distribute vertically. Perfect. Okay, so now these are my placeholders for my other data. Uh, other pieces of data, sorry. Uh, I have 36% here dedicated to um, of respondents have selected a hot tub, period. I have 34% for have selected a new house. Cool. And I have 26%, let's just change the 34 and let's just change that to 26. 26% 26 have respondents have selected a brand new car. Okay, so once you're done, just highlight them all and click on Control Shift G to ungroup them. You can you can see two small problems here, which is that these text boxes aren't aligned to the to their percentages. And what you want to do is you just want to bring it up over here, just to make sure it's all aligned and we are good to go. We are dandy, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. Um, so now I have all the data I need. And I just want to make sure, sorry, that this is consistent with the other font and making this dark gray color. Anyway, I have all the data I need. Um, now it's time to color code. This is the fun part. Now we're just coloring in. You remember when you guys were kids? You guys got the coloring book. Now we're just coloring in, except now we're doing it and we're getting paid for it. Um, I have all my colors selected over here, as you can see. Um, whatever colors you want to choose is up to you. Uh, to make things easier for you guys through this video, I'm just going to be using the Format Painter tool just to speed things up. But remember, you guys could just color it any way you'd like. So this is a 4%. The blue one here is going to be the 36. The green one is going to be the 34. And the uh, yellow one is going to be the 26, as you can see here. And now I want to visualize my text to the data as well. So I have 4% and I'm going to color in the two cows in pink as well. That's what's going to make it look really cool and sort of connect the data visually. It fits in, it fits in like a jigsaw puzzle, right? So I'm going to highlight two cows and I'm going to be um, pressing on the text formatting option and click on eyedropper and then go to pink. And there we go. 
I'm gonna do that for every single one of them. So we have this, we have a new house, over here, and then we have 26%, which is a brand new car. Perfect, okay. So now that part's done, we can now focus on the cool part, the infographic, okay? Um, I ungrouped mine earlier, just make sure that you ungroup yours as well. Make sure that every single icon is sort of, you know, uh, alone. And what you want to do now is you want to uh, reflect the, the data to the icons here. Um, there are a hundred icons as you can see in this infographic. Pretty sure you know where I'm going with this. There are a hundred and you have four percent. You're gonna have to know that you're gonna pick four percent. I'm gonna leave the math up to you guys, but I'm pretty sure you can handle that. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the four here and I'm gonna change it to the same color as the, um, the pink thing there. So now automatically you can tell four people represent 4% which have selected two cows. And then you can do that for all of them, which is what I'm about to show you. Um, the, the selection is kind of an issue here, I know. Uh, you just want to make sure that, you know, if you have to do it individually, do it individually. Just make sure that you don't sort of um, mix up anything. So let's just go there and change the color. So we have 34% now, which is cool. So we're going to be selecting three rows here. Oops. Three rows here and change it to green. And the work also though to be selected four rows there like so and change that to green and the rest is just gonna be our yellow color done okay now you have your slide if you're happy with it you're done save your work never forget to save your work never forget to save your work but if you're not happy with the positioning of these elements, you can always change that. Like for me, for example, I don't like how the data here is a bit smudged up. Like it's all put together and I think there's a bit of white space that we can, we can take advantage of. So in my case, I'm gonna be highlighting the infographic, all these elements together, pressing Control G. I'm gonna be moving the infographic to the left a bit here, all right? And then I'm gonna be highlighting all the data points individually, like so, pressing Control G to group them up this I'm gonna be moving this uh, downward and I'm going to be pressing I'm sorry I'm gonna be highlighting everything I'm gonna click on arrange align and then distribute vertically all right now when I press ctrl G it groups up everything as well so I'm gonna be pressing both of these together just to make sure everything's on the same page click on align click on align middle and there we go I think that looks absolutely fantastic I'm gonna delete my text box and my colors now and ladies and gentlemen we are done very straightforward very easy but very 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 effective uh, thank you all for watching be sure to like comment share and subscribe we're on our way to a thousand subs don't forget there's a giveaway there's a small giveaway but it's a giveaway nonetheless uh, we love you guys stay tuned for the next one have a great day.